Well, it's happening, everybody. I am uh, putting together a brief tutorial today going over a simple EQ filter that's going to make a kind of an echoey sounding mic, maybe uh, a mic that you had to record in a room that's not ideal for your recording. And I'm going to try to take that and clean it up. It's not a terrible sounding mic, but it could stand to have some EQ uh, effect on it to clean it up quite a bit. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so as you can see here, it looks like I have two big chunks of audio. It's actually the same piece of audio, just copied and pasted. But I also cleaned up any background noise. There's a tutorial videos in uh, my YouTube page that shows you how to do that. Super easy process, but it makes a big difference. So you can see there, there's no background. Completely empty. Nothing there. All right, so this is what it sounds like right out of the gate. Let's take a listen. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Okay, so this is the same. You are We're going to clean up the second one. This will be our point of reference over here. So first things first, I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to go in and see if I can isolate any of that background echo. I'm going to go into Effects, Filter EQ, down to my Parametric Equalizer. I'm going to click on something that I've created called the Echo Finding Tool. And look, it's just a simple, um, it's like a peak in a random point in our EQ, Parametric EQ filter here. So what's so cool about this? is if you make it really tight and narrow, if you stretch it and make it tight, you can make it nice and tight right there so you can isolate a specific frequency. I'm going to go ahead and have my loop feature on here. So let's hit play and hear what it sounds like. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. And I can drag it. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. So what I can do to fix some of that is go down to my decibel level. I'm going to just turn the volume down on it. It's just isolating this frequency around the 200 hertz mark. I'm going to isolate that and lower the volume on it. Let's just go 10. You don't want to go crazy because then it sounds really overproduced. So I'm going to just go negative 10 dB. We're just turning down the volume on that. I'm going to apply it to this and let's listen to it now. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. Versus the first one. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. So it's a little bit better. You can hear uh, less echo definitely in the uh, opening when you have the biggest volume and the most breath when you're going into it. Let's go back into effects now and clean it up even further. Down to filter and EQ. Into this uh, parametric equalizer. Again, it's easily my favorite EQ in Adobe Audition. And it's just so versatile and useful. And I was able to create a vocal EQ for a very general male voice okay so you look here i have a high pass filter on it rolling off some of those bass um very low tones maybe even some you don't even hear rolling those off so they're completely out of the picture we're boosting a little in the low end we're dropping actually a little in the mid-range back in a flat kind of when you're getting into the mid highs and then high we have a low pass filter on the front um but it's it's kind of a little small one just kind of a little shelf right there okay so that's all it is. I'm going to leave this up on the screen if you want to copy it uh, just to see how it sounds. Let's apply it to our entire piece here. Now hit play. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9 quite a bit better. It sounds a lot cleaner. If we go into spectral frequency, you can see here that some of these frequencies in the mid here, they're just a lot more leveled and a lot more balanced in uh, the cleaned up version of it. So one more thing that we can do. For the sake of uh, equality here, I'm going to do the same to both sides of this. I'm going to compress both sides and I'm going to normalize it so the volume stays the same. I have a very simple compressor. I have a tutorial for that compressor too. I'm going to click that, compress it down. This is just a voiceover compressor. Go back in, normalize it to 91%. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the original track, compress it down, and I'm going to normalize it to 91%. So now I have identical tracks this is what came to me with compression and normalization. This is after we fixed it. Look at the different bodies of the tracks. You can tell there's a lot more uh, low and mid-low down here, and it's probably giving it a lot more fill in the sound rather than having a whole bunch of unnecessary echo like we got from the beginning. Now, it wasn't terrible, but it was something that could be cleaned up. Let's listen to both tracks now. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. You are listening to College Radio's Best 89.9. 
that's a big improvement. It's a super easy fix. Now, you don't always have time to go through and isolate uh, your frequencies. And now this would only be something for post-production. Let's say you're putting uh, some radio imaging together. You have a project for your radio class at college. Uh, this is a good way to really clean up those vocals when you've recorded in a room that is just not ideal or a situation where you had to clean it up. Maybe you interviewed somebody in a hallway or a lobby. This is a good way to clean up some of these vocals, specifically on a mid-range male voice. If you if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Let me know your experience with it. Thanks a lot.